Today we will be working on a Predator 3500 inverter generator and we are replacing the ignition control module. We're going to start by removing the cover with the rope start. We're going to pop these little rubber covers off on the top with the appropriate tool. We're going to pop a few screws off this exhaust side cover. We're going to pop the screws out of the top that we just exposed. We went ahead and threw a little 4x4 under here. Pop these covers off. We're going to remove these two wheels. That one has the brake assembly on it. Just make sure you don't lose that. Next, we're gonna remove those 10 millimeter socket head screws. Notice I did not say 10 millimeter screws. These are more like four, five millimeter screws. I like to refer to what tool I'm using but those are not 10 millimeter screws. Next, we'll remove the battery cover and three screws on the control side. Then we can just open this cover up. You can see here that the oil sensor has been disconnected here. The oil pressure or oil level sensor is prone to malfunctioning. So if you just do your job and check the oil before you run it and change it often, you're going to be fine. Now right here is the ignition module. I've got a brand new one here and you just remove two screws and it's a plug and play system. When I'm working on the interior of small engines like this or other small items, I prefer to use hand tools you just get a feel for things a whole lot better than using an impact tool. We're gonna unclip this here. We're going to pop that zip tie. And we're gonna dig out the connectors we need. Now, you can see that those can go together two different ways. What we're gonna make sure we do is install our red to red as it came apart. Got a red here, red here, pop that together. We're going to make our other connection. We're going to pop that together, reinstall our screws.
dead battery. Oh no. <laughs> Well, that's a good, good sound right there. I like to put all of my screws in all of the holes, just finger tight or even just started before I begin to tighten anything. And if you're following this along step by step, it's already too late. But there's no reason to remove those two screws on the panel. So on this battery side or control side, you only have to remove that screw. Otherwise, we're good to go. Put it back together, we are done. <laughs>